a Catholic priest has just seven days left to live in the new drama, Cavalry. I'm going to kill you, Father. Certainly a startling opening line. The title of the film comes from the site in Jerusalem where Jesus was crucified. Set along the scenic Irish countryside, Emmy winner Brendan Gleeson plays the kind-hearted local pastor, Father James. During a confessional, one of his small-town parishioners, Bridesmaid star Chris O'Dowd, reveals that he was sexually abused as a child by a priest, and he'll now carry out his vengeance by killing the innocent Father James in one week. So you're sure there's a god that Father, yeah? Cavalry was met with praise from critics when it premiered at Sundance back in January. The film comes from writer-director John Michael McDonough. Your director who you've worked with before, he wrote the role specifically specifically for you. Well, with me in mind, I think, yeah, we talked about the notion of a good priest while we were still finishing up The Guard, which we had worked on before, um, but he had to write the screenplay. Uh, I, you know, we kind of shared the notion of the idea and the purpose of it, maybe, or the in how it would be interesting to, to explore. English actress Kelly Riley, who has previously starred in the Sherlock Holmes films and with Denzel Washington in Flight, plays the priest's daughter. It's a complicated dynamic. You know, sometimes you get a radio picture, that, and then it doesn't quite, you know, match. But with, with Kelly, the beauty of this relationship became very clear from the very first day. So the, the rehearsal period was really about um, uh, getting backstory, and, and we kind of felt we knew the soul of what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know. It was a lot of it was very unspoken. Mm. You kind of let things just magically kind of evolve if you if you if you trust who you're working with and you trust the material. Riley is currently starring on the new ABC series Black Box, in which she plays a famous neurologist who, like her character in Cavalry, has her share of setbacks to overcome. Did you see any similarities between the two? Gosh, I think they're both complex for sure, but I think they're. Ultimate, they're completely different characters, in my opinion. I mean, I think Fiona has such uh, a, a quietness to her and a stillness, and I think the character you're referring to, Catherine, is uh, is is a lot more um, vivacious and alive. Um, so I, 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 maybe just the layers of, you know, there's there's probably sadness to both of them. Actually, <laughs> it's probably what's similar. And on that note, <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Note. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Cavalry is now playing in theaters. Ken Lombardi, CBS News.